Glad you stopped by. You'll pardon me if I keep an eye on our vector? That's probably smart. Ah, uh, nothing like being on the bridge of your very own ship, is there? I could stand here and drink in that view all day. When I was test piloting the ship back home, I often did. Of course, it took a whole team to build the Tempest. I was the only one to come to Helios, though. Why did you? What can I say? We poured our hearts into a ship that wouldn't realize her potential until Andromeda. I could have stood on the shore and waved goodbye, or took the leap to see how it all turned out. I get it. Like leaving a good story half finished. The team liked that one of us was going. It felt right after all we went through. I remember Serena debugging line 2281 over and over, chewing that green pencil. Tion and O'Connell arguing equations tapping on the console, three drips of coffee on the corner. You remember all that? Hmm? Oh, yes. Salarians have photographic memories, and apparently mine's unusually sharp. Like my past is still happening. Though I suppose with the Salarian arc missing, you might not get many chances to compare. Did you hear anything about the arc back on the Nexus? Not a peep. Isn't that strange? You'd think there'd be something. Not that I dislike your company, but it's lonely without other Salarians. Cheer up, Callow. We'll always have Director Tan. That snide little bureaucrat? All the more reason to find the others. I should get back to it, but thank you. I was afraid the Tempest would be mothballed after we lost your father. We built her for this. She deserves to be in a Pathfinder's hands. Please, come by any time.
anomaly detected. Deploying probe. Getting a scan. up something. Probe away. Detecting what's left of a ship. Anomaly detected. Probe away. Anomaly found. as far as the Nexus surveyors could get before, well... Let's see what's waiting here. Anomaly on sensors. Probe away. Tracking a huge mineral deposit.
So this is where the human arc first entered Helios? Heck of a wake up call. I'm picking up something. Anomaly on sensors. Probes launched. I found something. Shuttle spotted. Drifting. It sustained catastrophic electrical damage. That's the research vessel Dr. Aridana informed us of. There are no life readings within. She'll want to know. on sensors. Probe away. Satellite detected. Anomaly detected. Deploying probe. We've got a crater. Anomaly detected. Probes launched. Tracking a huge mineral deposit. System, Pythias. Andromeda Initiative Habitat 1. 
Designated ES. It was supposed to be an easy first step. Until no one else showed and we got clobbered. Twice. Why has Sam altered frequency detection? What are we hearing, Sam? There is a signal, Pathfinder. I recommend an immediate examination of EOS. Probes launched. Tracking a huge mineral deposit. Anomaly on sensors. Deploying probe. Satellite detected. up something. Probes launched. Tracking a huge mineral deposit. Habitat 7. Possible atmospheric manipulation. Is that possible? We'll find out. If it is like Habitat 7, no doubt we'll run into the CAD. We're all that ready. Callow? All right. Integrating search area from Sam. How he pulled that mystery signal through the storms, I have no idea. Multi-sensory neural collation. Amazing. Factory fresh across the board. Spinning up the compensators. You're already tuning the displays. We'll get a better read on this pass than the Nexus has had in months. <laughs> People had their hopes pinned on us. They gave up on Eos. I can't blame them. Expected a golden world, instead they saw their friends die. Never know how that'll affect. Uh, sorry. You okay? I think I'm still messed up by what happened with my dad. There hasn't been much time to process it. No, I mean, I think I'm still feeling it. Like, hearing things, other than Sam. Pathfinder, the
The Tempest checks out. We're good. Take us down. You have no idea how long I've wanted a Pathfinder to say that. down at this nav point. How to even start? Reports state this planet suffers deadly storms that are contaminated by radiation from the Scourge. EO's deployment was incomplete due to environmental hazards and ultimately hostile encounters. Plus, no Pathfinder. If EO's is like Habitat 7, that signal we scan must be connected with the atmosphere. We could use the outpost antenna to track it down. Let's get the power back on. Structure up ahead. Sam? It fits the profile of a power relay station pathfinder. Right. We get it running, maybe buildings get power. And we can hunt that signal down. These shield masts are protecting against the radiation, but they're wearing out fast. Look at the batch numbers. The outpost burned through a bunch of them. people here. You thought everyone left was gone. Of course you did. Now shove off. Find your own salvage. This spot's taken. I'm not a salvager. I'm a Pathfinder. We've come to fix all this. Call me Clancy. Pathfinder, huh? Like that changes much. The Nexus just can't let Eos go, can it? However much it fails down here. I'm tracking a signal that will help Eos. I only need power for the antenna. Look, I cut the power for a reason. The Ket are patrolling today. You turn the power relay back on, they'll know there's a juicy target alive down here. Help me with the power relay, and I'll take care of the Ket. You're crazy. Though maybe it's a good crazy. Okay, I'll enable the generators out there. You want to poke the tiger, it's on you. Expect trouble when we start the generators. Pathfinder, that door is locked. Until power is restored, there is no way to unlock it or gain entry to these buildings. Radiation levels are severe. Seek safety immediately. Radiation levels within acceptable limits. Life support is back online.
Got a code lock key. Gives us access if we need it. It's inoperable, Pathfinder. Too long in this environment without power. We didn't expect this. Pathfinder, that door is locked. Until power is restored, there is no way to unlock it or gain entry to these buildings. This analysis provides us with important research data, Pathfinder. If you continue to scan and collect this data, we can utilize it to develop new technologies and upgrades for equipment such as your weapons and armor. It's a forward station, Pathfinder. Vital for moving resources and vehicle deployment. We'll need to call some new ones down, once we're away from so many structures. I think this is for purifying water. It's huge and crooked. The storms did that? Radiation levels are severe. Seek safety immediately. Life support is back online. No way this has been here long. Um, going by call sign records, that shuttle is currently parked in the Nexus. Someone's been naughty. This body's Omni tool has a door access code. Not the important part, Sam. We knew some were lost, Ryder. We weren't told they were left. Wonder how many are out there. Too many. Lexi, update Nexus records on Harwell, Theo J, and get a recovery shuttle out here. Good idea. If he's got family, they deserve closure. We'll give them more than closure. We'll finish what he started.
Really, Ryder? main door had power, but not the interior doors? Full functionality would require an active power relay station. That means the antenna's out of power, too. Like the console said, let's head to the relay station. Sandstorms, radiation. What the hell was Addison thinking sending us here? Eos might have looked great back in the Milky Way. But I'm <laughs> the hell's game. Father Gale's on my case to stay positive. Put on a brave face for the rest of the team. But I can't shake the feeling that I'm gonna die. Got a partial log, but I can't turn on the antenna. Something's blocking the power. A remote lock is active. The interference originates from a nearby power relay tower. So we're not the only ones interested. Let's check out this relay tower. Look at this place. It's a wasteland. The radiation in Eos's atmosphere makes it difficult to cultivate life. Radiation? Our suits protect against that, right? Site 1 contains shield masts to dampen the brunt of contamination. But if we went outside Site 1's perimeter? That would not be advised. Another code, like we already found. We suffered our first death today. Storm came out of nowhere. Lockley tried to cover our crops. Lost his footing. Got swept away. His wife is still in cryo. Maybe by the time they wake her up, I'll know what to say. Looks like salvage. New. Days ago new. Who else is here? Pathfinder, that door is locked. Until power is restored, there is no way to unlock it or gain entry to these buildings.
There's an error in the startup sequence. Manual input required. Damn it. Please scan one of the pylons to determine a hackable input location. Generator is active. Sam, our friend Clancy, was he part of the outpost team here? No, Pathfinder. According to Nexus records, he's stationed in the hangar bay. So he's what? Playing hooky? Or he's a part-time salvager. Generator interface possible. Location marked. Company. Generator interface possible. Location marked. We've got company.
weren't kidding about the cat. The power relay station is ready for activation, Pathfinder. You took down all those cat? Sure, use the power relay. Hell, take whatever you like. Word of advice, though. If that signal of yours is out past the perimeter, you'll need a ride. A ride? Shuttles aren't fun in these winds. You need wheels. I think they kept a little something in storage. Didn't get around to salvaging it yet? I tried. It ain't that simple. Might be easier for a Pathfinder, though. We're heading to our shuttle. Keep this up. Maybe next time we'll find more than just salvage around here. Don't suppose you've got anything we can use. Correct. Plus, I've located the source of the signal we detected in orbit. It's coming from the large alien structure just beyond Site-1. The structure appears almost identical to the one your father used to adjust the atmosphere on the previous planet. It's worth investigation. That almost feels like a lead. Damn right that's worth investigating. Here, here. A warning. Radiation levels beyond the perimeter of Site-1 are well above acceptable limits. You cannot proceed without additional protection. All the more reason to see if that alien structure can make a difference to this planet. Come on, we better find that vehicle Clancy mentioned. Now the power is restored, we can investigate the nearby buildings. Walls could talk. Actually, with enough sensory data, I might be able to reconstruct an image of the past. Wait, you can do that? Normally, it would be impossible. But since this is an initiative building, I have access to a multitude of data and arrays. Let's give it a shot. I could provide analysis via the scanner, Pathfinder. Wilcox thinks I'm crazy, but I know what I saw. Eyes on the mountain, watching us. We're not alone out here. This log was recorded a day before the first cat ambush on Site-1. Holy shit, The cat scouted them out. Can you get audio? Compiling now. 
We can't survive another attack. The storms and radiation were already killing us. Now we've got those things. We can't return to the Nexus with our tails between our legs. The whole station is counting on us. Then they're counting on corpses. Those things? Must be talking about the cat. Pathfinder, I have enough sensory data to reconstruct an image. I could provide analysis via the scanner. Pathfinder. You step outside recently. There's nothing golden about EOS. I'm not saying there won't be challenges, but we can do this, Wilcox. We have to. It's like we're listening to ghosts. They didn't know what they were in for. They weren't told. Sam and I could have helped them. This won't happen again.
Well, what do you know? The Outpost Research Center is still intact. Updating the Tempest on this critical recovery. Research was always key to the initiative. We'll need it here, too. We're not scavenging anymore. This is how we rebuild. Someone else agrees. This research center was used recently to monitor the alien signal. This gives us the tools to find the source, and maybe whoever else is looking. Special requisition, all-terrain scout rover. A nomad, six-wheel drive, jump jets, just what you need. I might be drooling a little bit. This must be what Clancy meant. The crate requires an access code from a forward station. Forward stations act as emergency resupply checkpoints. Several are currently in orbit. I can call one down. Let's find a good spot. No good. A forward station should have the access code once we call it down. Automated protocols activated. Deploying forward station. Looks like the forward station supplies are intact. Downloading Nomad Crate access code. The research station is back online. I've provided a list of weapons we can build by gathering the required components. Nomad should handle pretty smooth. Check both forward and reverse, would you?
traction. It's too steep. Switch to six-wheel drive. It'll get you up there in a snap. jump jets. They'll get you over most obstacles. If you need more juice, the boosters can accelerate you out of trouble. Another memory trigger? Yes, though my memory array remains locked. Additional triggers are required.
and approaching Site 2, Resilience. It was sold as the one we get right, but it didn't have time to get worn down. Got wiped out by Cat. We'll deal with the Cat, one thing at a time. Radiation levels have spiked, Pathfinder. Pathfinder, this is the spot where Nigel McCoy wanted you to leave his pendant. In honor of his brother, Dash McCoy. Got it. Signals coming from that structure up ahead. Imagine leaving all the craziness on the Nexus to be the first settlers here. So much riding on you, and then... This time will be different. Right. This is our element. Radiation within safe levels. Didn't even finish unpacking. Ket didn't give him a chance.
portable cover of cat design. He died protecting this outpost, and we left him. We'll make it right, Liam. Override works, but... Sam, the door was sealed from the outside? Yes, Pathfinder. It appears lockdown was manual. Secondary terminals. No access. Sam? If deployment is standard, main access will be deeper in. Way too quiet. Looks like they left in a hurry. Reports said the evac was cut off by Ket. Pathfinder, a maintenance bulletin was issued at the time of shutdown. What does it say? Ron. We've got Ken. Override, close it! Tempest, we have an unknown enemy. Evac the Pathfinder. Whoa, hold on. No go, Harper. We have to lay low. Ken are inbound to your location. Ken and that thing? Son of a... A security tag for site two. Looks like they had some sort of special project going. Let's find the rest. Ken, watch Schematics out. for special project Sigma. They were building something, but there are parts missing. This must be the project they were salvaging at site one. A way to fight the cat. We could finish it. All components at site two. Another drop ship with reinforcements. Watch out. I have enough sensory data to reconstruct an image of the past. Maybe we can push the cat back. What army? Can you even find the safety or the pistol? We're just going through the options. Evacuate or die. Those are the options. Initiatives not military. They weren't prepared. Looks like they left in a hurry. Report said the evac was cut off by Kit. Fiend! Override! Close it! Tempest, we have an unknown enemy. Evac the Pathfinder. Whoa! Hold on. No go, Harper. We have to lay low. Ket are inbound to your location. Ket and that thing? Son of a... Watch out!
Looks like they left in a hurry. Report said the evac was cut off by cat. Fiends up! Override, close it! Tempest, we have an unknown enemy. Evac the Pathfinder. Whoa, hold on. No go, Harper. We have to lay low. Cat are inbound to your location. Cat and that thing? Son of a... Watch out! They had some sort of special project going. Find the rest.
Clear? We're clear! No wonder Sight 2 failed, Brazilian or not. Pathfinder, I have enough sensory data to reconstruct an image of the past. Maybe we could push the cat back. With what army? Can you even find the safety on your pistol? I'm just going through the options. Evacuate or die. Those are the options. Initiative's not military. They weren't prepared. Looks like a war zone. According to survivors, the cat attacked from all sides. It was... Schematics for Special Project Sigma. They were building something, but there are parts missing. This must be the project they were salvaging at Site 1. A way to fight the cat. We could finish it. All components at Site 2 had security tags, compiling possible nav points. You'd think there'd be more bodies. Not that I'm complaining. Not a lot left behind for a massacre. What if they were removed? We know the Nexus didn't bother picking up the bodies. You don't think it could have been the cat? Are you trying to give me nightmares? <laughs> Not sure what's worse. This or dying slow, like promise. Happy thoughts, Liam. Surprised the Nexus still wants an outpost on Eos. You know what they say, third time's a charm. We'll make this right. data on EOS back home whenever everywhere was labeled H with a bunch of numbers <laughs> your dad put those readings up in his office knew them all by heart wonder what those worlds really looked like then and now Activating automated forward station deployment.
mining zones in this region are available, Pathfinder. I've added nice them work. to your nav system. Ever disobeyed an order, Cora? In my My soldier days? No, that's kind of the point. Is that mechanical? You never thought about it. Military discipline isn't there to give you something cool to rebel against. In combat, people depend on you being in the place they expect, doing what you're meant. God damn it. One of our shuttles ahead. Worth checking, if only to make sure the cat don't get to keep it. Got a component for Site 2's project. Where Chief Reynolds died. Sandstorms would have buried the body long ago. I suggest scanning. Karkins. Pathfinder, there is an armor piece buried deep. A leg bracer. Scan indicates tissue and bone fragments clinging to it. DNA identified as Chief Reynolds. Indications suggest his body was torn to pieces. So the Chief became Karkin food. Circle of life can be gruesome. The remaining armor will be scattered, or perhaps brought to a nest. The chest piece and his Omni tool may explain his death. Then we keep searching and scanning. Another armor piece, Chief Reynolds' helmet. The search continues. Earth head formations like this. Made a lot of kids think of alien worlds. Water and weather, nothing tougher in the long run. Pathfinder, the scanners picked up Chief Reynolds' chest piece, confirming single shot. Unable to determine weapon type, but entry... ...point was at the back. Exit blast through the chest. By all accounts, Nilkin was in front of the Chief when he fired. So it wasn't his shot that killed him. The Chief's Omni-Tool might shed some light. There must be active remnant in there. Let's check it out. Alien tech comes in all shapes and sizes, but what's it for? Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. Picking up additional armor scraps. I believe it's a trail leading to a cave nearby. Could be where the nest is located.
So whatever tech we found on Habitat 7 is the same as what's here? That's what the scans suggest. Two planets now. What does that mean? You know what it means. Suit up and find out. Got it. Radiation levels are severe. Seek safety immediately. above normal radiation levels. It's a carcan nest, all right. Fan out. Confirming initiative equipment, including Omni tool assigned to Security Chief Hiram Reynolds. If you power it up, accessing I can data. data. The chief was scanning at the time of death. The scan picked up two shots. One, a standard initiative rifle report, which missed. The other from behind, a Ket pulse weapon. This proves Milken is innocent. He didn't shoot Reynolds. That's a relief. Good work. Pathfinder, there is also an audio recording. Go ahead and play it. No! Where's Nilkin? Sorry, old friend. Had to do it. I'm not dying on this rock. That sounds like... Confirming. Voice identified as suspect, Nilkin. So he did not kill the chief. But he meant to. Need another chat with the man. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. I liked those pre-trip vision paintings of future EOS. 
Green fields, rivers, forests. Wonder what it'll really be like down the line. Your death storms would be nice? That looks like a cat facility of some kind. We saw them researching this tech back on Habitat 7. Doubt that's a coincidence. But if we want to look, the only way is through. Radiation levels normal. Radiation levels have spiked, Pathfinder. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. Coming up on us. Radiation within safe levels.
行くな。Let's get to it before there's any more cat. Pathfinder. Are you now? My name's Sarah Ryder. I'm Drac, Clan Nackmore. You'll forgive me if I didn't just trust a stranger from the Nexus. They haven't exactly treated us Krogan well. What are you doing out here? Checking out these monoliths. The cats seem pretty interested in this one. Looks like you cleared it out for us, though. You sad I didn't save any for you? Nexus no shit about the cat. They think they're safe. <laughs> but they're just waiting to die out there in space. I've been quads deep on a couple of planets for a while now. Taking out cat bases, fighting ground troops. <laughs> I know what they can do. It's not pretty. You know, we could use a Krogan like you, Drek. I'm flattered, but do you have any idea how many humans I've watched die? Your meat is spoiled. Besides, the day I help the Nexus again is the day the clouds part and the cat keel over. No offense. None taken. Good, because I'm getting bored and the cat are getting stronger. Seem particularly interested in this alien tech. I'm gonna go find more to shoot. Try to keep your head out there.
Anton, Darren T. Can't undo what happened, but we can make sure he's remembered. That we can, Pathfinder. A field log, Pathfinder. Issued to patrolling Ket. I don't need a translation to know when I'm hearing a monster. Adding to language database. All Site 2 components are accounted for. Let's head to Site 2's research station and see what good they do. Seems fun. Intact, but doesn't appear active, like the rest. I detect no additional glyphs in the area. Inactive, Pathfinder. Similar to the rest. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface.
Careful, Ryder. Scourge ahead. Severe radiation alert, Pathfinder. Pathfinder, there is Nexus equipment nearby. Life. The person who left this behind, she was part of the first wave of colonists, wasn't she? The probability is high. This researcher may have left data pads at other remnant sites as well.
Tighten up, Costa. I'm not getting flanked because you're distracted. Do you prefer Batarian Flood, Roman Column, or Elcor Core? Just pick one. And then stick to it. Look there. That spot has shelter, water, stable ground. If we clear the skies, this might be our new home. The first colonists sent audio logs about these regions back to the Nexus. And? Fairwinds Bay. Pathfinder, this location could support an outpost, but there are multiple complications to resolve. Protocols activated. Deploying forward station. Mining zones have been added to your nav system, Pathfinder. Radiation levels within acceptable limits. Life support is back online. Detecting above normal radiation levels. Data key, Specialist Engineer Aman Kathari. Chased down by what he was studying. The death toll between the two outposts must have weighed on everyone. Outposts and an arc escape pod. Where'd they get that? Doesn't matter. They're not keeping it. We need an up close scan. Looks like they found it drifting and brought it here. I'm not able to extrapolate point of origin, Pathfinder. But the Ark had been intact, like the Hyperion. Let's hope so.
At least it's cooler in here. These caves could be a good shelter, if people need it. Watching the corners. Sophia Radiation Alert Pathfinder. Safe levels. <laughs> 